In this video, I'll be planting Tiny Tim tomatoes using two hydroponic methods, the DWC or deep water culture method and a cracky setup. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you enjoy the videos I create, please hit the subscribe button and also comment and let me know what other types of videos you'd like to see. In my last video, I planted Tiny Tim tomato seeds in Rockwell cubes and on hydroponic clay pebbles. Both methods produce nice seedlings and now it's time to rehome them. They've earned it. I have two totes ready to set up for my plants. Here on the bottom of the tote is the number five. Generally, the numbers one, two, four, and five are considered safe for food, so you should check the number on any containers you might be using. These totes are 17 liters, and being an American, I have no idea what that means, but I was able to fill each tote with three gallons of water. I also mixed up some hydroponic nutrients and added that to the water as well. The water I use is non-chlorinated and comes from my reverse osmosis filtration system, and the hydroponic nutrients I use for growing tomatoes and other fruiting plants is the master blend formula, which is 41838, and then I add calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate as recommended by Masterblend. All of these components are water soluble and I mixed each separately in some water until they were dissolved before adding them together. Here are some of the seedlings. You can see two of the seedlings are growing in rock wool and the rest are growing on clay pebbles. The plan is to set up two hydroponic systems here, one Kratky, the other DWC or deep water culture. Here you can see two holes I drilled into the side of this tote so that I can thread the tubing from the air pump into the totes through the holes. The other tote will be set up as a cracky system so no pump needed there. These are the lids for the totes. You can see I previously drilled out three inch holes to fit the three inch neck cups. I posted a video on how I did that a while back. I'll put that in an information card at the top of this video in case you're interested in seeing how I did that. I'm going to plant one of the Rockwell seedlings in one tote and one in the other. And then I'll plant one of the seedlings growing on clay pebbles in one tote and one in the other. So ultimately I'll have two plants in each tote. I poured in enough hydroponic water so that the level of the water was high enough to reach the neck cups. It took three gallons in each tote, which is 11.3562 liters. Thank you, Google. Now I need to get the two seedlings growing in rock wool resettled into neck cups. It's not hard, of course. You just set the rock wool into the bottom of a neck cup and then put clay pebbles around it to help stabilize the rock wool cube and also to block out any light that might filter down into the water through the slots in the neck cup. The clay pebbles also cover up the rock wool, which prevents algae from growing on the rock wool as well. Since I filled the water level in the totes high enough to reach the bottom of the neck cups, the roots will continue to grow down into the water and as as the water level drops, the roots will continue to grow and reach down into the water. In a cracky system, the idea is that the plant will also develop what are called air roots, and these air roots will thrive in the gap between the water and the plant above it. I have a video on the cracky method. I'll put that in an information card at the top corner of this video as well. Okay, these two seedlings are ready for the tote. I'll put them both in the same spot in the back. And this tote on the right will be the DWC tote, and this tote on the left will be the Cracky tote. And now for the seedlings that were growing on clay pebbles. These had more than one plant growing in each net cup, so I carefully untangled the roots and replanted the seedlings back into the clay pebbles so that each net cup had only one seedling in it. I tried to be as careful as possible so as not to damage the roots, and here we have them, ready to go into the totes. I placed one of the seedlings in one tote and one in the other. So now each tote has two seedlings, one that was started in a Rockwell cube and one on clay pebbles. All right, one last thing I need to do, and that's to start up the pump on the DWC system. That's the tote on the right. This is the pump I'm using. It has two air outlets so I can connect two tubes and use two air stones. First, I have to thread the tubing through the small holes I drilled into the side of the tote and then connect those tubes to the pump, plug it in, and we have bubbles. Oh, one last thing. I need to cover up the empty holes so the light doesn't shine down into the water reservoir. 
We don't want algae growing down there, so Folgers Coffee to the rescue. These lids are the perfect size to cover up the holes. And there you have it, my tiny Tim Tomatoes are all set up. Now it's watch and wait. I'll film their progress over the next couple of months and hopefully we'll have some nice juicy cherry tomatoes soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to follow the progress of these tomatoes or not, either way, please make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it and thanks for watching. Bye!